front cover. Ooh. What the hell is that on my lip? Oh, don't worry about the photo. Look at the headline. Gold digger foams at mouth for morning slot. <gasps> Did you really call Neville an old age mutant winger turtle? No, I don't know. <laughs> Did you say he has a big future in hospital radio? I wish I had, but I didn't. Who the hell is this Chad AM insider? According to them, I'm an uncontrollable egotist, determined to undermine Olympic legend Neville Roach at every turn. Wow. Yes, they say that you think you're radio's crown prince, but you act and dress like the clown prince. It's not even funny. No, no, not at all. Gold digger foams at mouth, they got that right. <gasps> Look here, Neville even gets a career profile. Someone must pay for this. Stephanie! must pay for this. Hey, hey, Barry, Barry, just calm down, Barry. Truly, just calm down. Um, Jack gave her the job and he will definitely be the one, he will be the one that will want to rake her over the coals. <laughs> oh, I've still got it. <laughs> Excellent job, Stephanie. I only set up the interview. You can't trust those media types as far as you can kick them. Hey, you got a real talent for this. Oh, Barry's not going to see it that way. Well, it's time you learned that there's no such thing as bad publicity. Although I tell you, this is about as close as you're going to get. I can feel my heart beating. Ooh. You know, with the right guidance, you could really go places. I mean, if somebody like me, a friend, were to take you under his wing and share all those years of experience with you. You really think so? I don't just think it. I feel it. <laughs> you know, we've got a show to do this evening. Well, well, if it isn't the Chad AM insider, you're going to be the outsider of Five My Way, girl. I'm sensing some negative vibes here. I think we should all take a big, deep breath. Not now, Clive. Some short, angry breaths, my God. What's going on? I am just pointing out to your niece that it is the job of the publicist to protect the credibility of the on-air stars, not undermine them. I want her out, Jack. I'm with Barry on this one, Jack. Barry, I don't think really can blame Stephanie for this. I've told you before, you can't trust those print journalists as far as you can kick them. She set me up, Jack. She is the Chat AM insider. It wasn't me! I swear, Uncle Jack. Barry, don't you think of you being a little bit paranoid on this? Am I? I don't know, Jack. Maybe it was you! Well, why would I want to air your dirty laundry in public? Is that a reference to the way I dress? <laughs> I think Stephanie should take a bow. She put Barry on the front page. He normally has to go to jail for contempt to manage that. I want her out, Jack. It's like the insider, not me. Well, she could always have my job. Not all of it, just the producing Neville showed me. Huh. I hadn't really thought about it. Some have greatness thrust upon her. Oh, fine. Just keep her out of my way. Hang on a minute. We're moving a little bit fast here. She doesn't really have the experience, Jack. Well, who better to get it from than me? But, yes, it would certainly help me out until I find a proper producer. Well, anyone's got to be better than Clive. He's bloody useless. No offence, Vanderboy. I forgive you. Well, Stephanie, it's up to you. Sky Witness News. Chaos on the papal tour today with the Pope's security staff sent into a frenzy. Black plastic crucifixes waved at the Holy Father by fans were mistaken for guns. Security staff were reported to be outraged at the merchandising oversight. And in news just in, Orange People spokeswoman Sheila has created a storm by saying the world's poor and hungry get what they deserve. Sheila's exact words were tough titties. Something for us all to chew on there. Back to the chat. What is with those t-shirts? Hey! Well, Neville didn't like my tasteless shirts and he's got thousands of these left over, so for me, this is a fashion statement that says... Did the papal people cancel his contract? Apparently they haven't seen that many Catholics with guns since the IRA Christmas party. <laughs> Yes, we have all your orange gear. Oh, oh, I thought the orange people were humanitarians, you know, but look what they said, tough titties to the poor. Mm. You're just in it for the orgies. Seems a real shame, you know. Yeah, yeah. You still got that number? Barry. What? Oh. I've lined up interviews with you today with Prime Minister Hawke, Elton John and Dame Medna. That's fabulous. You're fabulous. Just, uh, what happened to your skirt? I work better if I feel more comfortable. Well, of course, yeah. No, you should. You should feel comfortable. I'm so happy I could help you become my producer. Me too. 
I'm sure you're going to get plenty of hands-on experience. I appreciate it. I can't wait to get some hands-on experience with you. How's that? There's no need to be coy. I mean, you rub my neck, I rub yours, and what a lovely neck it is. Are you trying to seduce me? Uh, yeah. But isn't that wrong? Well, the fact that it's wrong is what makes it so exciting. Are you sure you're allowed to do that? Stephanie, you want to learn the business. Well, doing the business is part of the business. It's the way the game's played. But the game's changing. What are you going to do, run to Uncle Jack? No, I'm... I'm just really confused. I mean, I, I feel like I should talk to someone. Well, equal opportunity boards don't scare me, darling. No, no, not that. I... <sighs> but I am having lunch with Megan Schumacher from The Truth tomorrow. Maybe... I should speak to her, you know, because she's in the business. Well, yeah, she is in the business, yeah. But I think you misunderstood me. I mean, didn't you see that I was making a joke? You know, a little joke? <laughs> see, now I'm really confused. Oh, you poor, th you poor thing. Uh, well, look, you know, it just takes a while for a new producer to get the hang of my sense of humour. Oh, I'm so sorry, Neville, if I misunderstood. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry about it. It's your first day on the job. I mean, put it out of your mind. Uh, I've forgotten already. Neville, thank you so much. You have taught me so much already. Oh, you're on the air in one minute. You're the boss. Many a dives, you can't trust them as far as you can keep them.